In a country striving to diversify its energy sources and shape the minds of its future innovators, the Energy Commission of Ghana is powering a transformation one school at a time. Since 2019, the Energy Commission under the Renewable Energy Act, Act 832, has taken bold steps to promote the development and utilization of renewable energy in Ghana's education system. This journey began with the Energy Commission Senior High School's Renewable Energy Challenge, a platform designed to spark curiosity and ignite innovation among second cycle institutions across Ghana. Held in partnership with the Ghana Education Service and the Ghana TVET Service, the challenge promotes clean energy, energy efficiency and research-based learning. Now in its sixth edition, the 2025 challenge is themed Sustainable Energy for a Healthier Future. And this year, students were tasked with solving real-world problems in three critical areas, food security, waste management, and health delivery. From solar-powered vaccine refrigerators and cold storage systems to plastic waste converters, solar sterilizers, smart IoT aquaponics systems and more, 15 exceptional schools, each representing their region, have pushed the boundaries of innovation and redefined what's possible in renewable energy solutions. Here are some student innovators showcasing and explaining how their projects work to solve real-life problems. The integrated sensors continuously monitor patient health parameters during the dialysis session. The flow rate sensor ensures safe circulatory speed. The temperature sensor maintains optimal blood temperature. The electrocardiogram sensor, monitor, sensor monitors the heart rate of the patient, alerting the operator if any level falls out of safe range. A bubble sensor detects the presence of air bubbles in the tube, which are then removed by a syringe to maintain the integrity of the flow. To maintain the integrity of the flow. A leak sensor holds the peristaltic pump upon detecting any blood leakage from the tube. These parameters are then displayed on the real-time LCD screen. This break down organic matter in phase, and after 30 days, biogas is harvested and collected in this house in the bois, which is piped directly to the biogas dehydrator and also used as a supplement source of feed for the paralysis chamber. After the biogas has been collected, the digestion, which can be collected in the biodigester in a solid fashion, can be used as, as compost for farming, and in a liquid fashion, can be used as fertilizer for irrigation. According to geography, the sun moves 50 degrees every one hour. So, in order for the mirrors to get reflection from the sun, it will have to rotate every 15 degrees every hour so that the reflection of the sun will be directed onto the food. But right, right now, I've made the food six seconds every, so it will move 15 degrees every six seconds so that the viewers can see it rotating. But if I make it one hour, you can't see it. So that's how I've done it, and that's how it works. We use Arduino board. And it was reducing in the five days as so the conclusion from the table of results, it was clear that the tech solar dryer was efficient more than the open air dryer. Social impact. The dryer is easy to construct. As you can see, it's made from the commonly available resource or materials, let me say, like the mirrors, the pots, and other stuff. And it is less expensive and also create job for the individual. The individual sorry. As a farmer, you can you know, purchase it. Future development. So the tray can be built with more durable material to withstand rain and other weather conditions. Now with that, the social movement benefits all the beautiful aspect of our device. This device ensures that marginalized communities receive equal health care access, it reduces health care costs and improves public health care in terms of community outlook. This device here can be used. Prevent 
the cost of which malaria is being spread throughout the country. The sound system is made up of the sirenhorn. The sirenhorn is also connected to the Arduino board. When the sensor detects the presence of the bed in the right hand, it will send a signal to the Arduino board. In turn, sends another signal to the sirenhorn. The sirenhorn then sounds to scare the bed off the farm. The last system is the rotatory system. It is made up of the stepper motor. The stepper motor is in the rotation of window for rotation. We connected the stepper motor to a switch to allow the farmer to turn on or off the window according to the preference. From May to July, 16 regional competitions were held, though the Upper East Region could not participate. Ten schools competed per region, selected through preliminary contests were needed. The winners have now been grouped into two zones, Northern and Southern, for the zonal finals to be held on 9th and 11th August 2025. Only six schools, three from each zone, will move on to the grand finale. And that final showdown will take place at the Accra International Conference Centre on the 7th of October 2025. This is more than a competition. It's a national movement nurturing the next generation of problem solvers and energy champions. The top prize, a 5 kilowatt solar system for the winning school, educational resources, LED street lights, solar products and brand new laptops for the student innovators. From farm to fork, from waste to resource and from health challenges to clean solutions, these students are showing Ghana what sustainable energy can truly achieve. The 2025 Senior High School's Renewable Energy Challenge, where future meets innovation.